Hello and welcome back to Unreal Return to Napali. Um, let's see if there are any enemies there. Probably want to use some different weapon though. Alright, I'm full on car. I don't have to use that. I bet there are some enemies here. Or not. Are there any enemies here then? No, not that I can see. That's pretty odd. Um, so yeah, one thing I didn't mention last time about the guns that were supposed to be up there. Uh, interestingly enough, even though they were never used in the game, well, they were removed, um, they're still in the final version of the game. I think they're under decorations and uh, they are usable in custom maps. The problem is that in the final version of the game the... Whoa. Okay, so anyway, in the final version of the game the guns are there but they're not usable because there's some sort of an Unreal Script issue where the weapon simply does not ever acquire targets. Uh, so people have used them in custom maps. Now in patch 2.7 uh, people came up with the idea that hey well maybe we should finally fix that thing because it's a pretty nice turret that could be used in custom maps. The problem is, um, those people who have already placed the turret in their maps to act just as a decoration suddenly have a shooting object <laughs> where there are supposed to be none, and quite a powerful one too. So I think in the end what they did is they made a switch to enable it, and by default it's turned off. Something like that. Okay, well, there's there are bullets. That's always useful. And, oh! And full bullets. Too bad it only can carry 200 bullets. That's not very much. Okay, then go back here. Even more bullets. Well. Okay, that's a pretty weird way to stand there. Almost fell in the lava. This is an interesting place. It has been zero days since our last accident. You don't say. This is a conveyor belt, and these things... Do that. Yeah. So... The way I like to approach this is like this. Once they're up, touch, and then go through. It seems to work quite well. These ones are slow, the ones next are faster. But the same principle should apply. Yeah, this is crazy. And I think there may be enemies on the other side. So for this one, um, you just have to be really good at timing. Let's close this, go through. There we go. And of course, the uh, conveyor belt doesn't do absolutely anything, because you can just skip it. Um, also, I think here, right. I 
think there is something back there. Which is not a very good place for an encounter with enemies. Let's resave. There we go. Yeah, come in! <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny. I don't think that guy is actually here on lower difficulties, though. Good. Huh. That's weird. I'm going to see through. Hmm. Oh dear! Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy, on the other hand always there, so you have to get rid of him very quickly, otherwise bad things will happen. What kind of a sound was that? Huh. That reminds me of the sound that uh, tanks make in uh, Red Alert 2. Yeah, this place, right. Let's use the car, I guess. So here you can see through windows some nice view. Do you think you can actually go there at any point in time? But it does look nice. Do I need this? Yes I do. And some health that we do not need. So the super health. I hear something. about it. Oh, right, we're inside that place. We just went through that walkway here. It's a nice way of showing things. What was a scar doing all the way up there anyway? Hmm. Oh yeah, and this place. First, hmm. Well, I guess the control panels don't actually do anything. Now then, Geronimo! Okay, I was afraid there would be an ambush here, but there's probably an ambush somewhere else. Oh, there's a singer. And that is lava. So, apparently f a foundry is a place where things get cast from metal, and uh, that's not really matching the description. Whoa!
Okay, here we go. <laughs> mm, I'm full on this too. So yeah, that does not really match the description of a Teridium processing plant. Hmm. All right, well, I don't know. City Behemoth. But I guess it is an industrial plant. I think the 8 ball out is a bit of... Oh, hi there. So it's a bit of a problem in that it can uh, lock onto enemies and then enemies get notified of it. But... Here we have the pupae. Yep. Fish in a barrel. As long as you don't rush in and don't get surprised by them. I hear a brute. And this is nothing that we can use either. Yeah, that guy! He pressed a switch, as you could see. And that switch destroyed this. So, where is that guy? I can hear a walking, but where is he? actually sure if it's possible to make it so that the scar doesn't activate the bridge by pressing the button here but either way it's not a big deal actually because you can go around it fairly easily Is that guy there? Hmm. Can't really see. Once more, I would like to go back and get some of those eight ball ammo. Oh, yeah, this place, right. This is pretty nice, something written in Scar. This is like one, uh, five, fifteen, and such. Quite nice with S3TC textures. Alright, well, where do I want to go next? Huh. This is actually the same view outside. Stupid thing. How did it get even up here? That makes no sense. But now I have to go 
back up here so we hit this place. Oh, it's already down. Yes, you can see the courtyard here. Hmm. Okay, so if you press this... It overloads. And breaks the mic. Very nice. But, like I said, I actually want to go back here and restock up on... Oh! Oh! I didn't know about those fly bosses before. I don't think you can actually dodge through that. Like I said, it's no big deal either way. Attempt to the pipe. And there's one way that you're supposed to be going. And it's not this. Well, that is the way you're supposed to be going, but it's not where you'd go to get some extra things. Ooh. Shiny. Oh, and there's nothing else here. Okay. So that's just for showing off some shiny things. In this place. This place is something. It's also pretty weird. You cannot actually go up these. You could dodge up this, or you can jump on every each of these. Which is pretty strange. Oh yeah, and there's also a conveyor belt here. Oh really? That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Well, that didn't go quite as planned, but fair enough anyway. Yeah, this. Yeah, I remember this. This is cut off. those strange things. Like, there's a door, you're trying to go through it, it closes, and then suddenly a different opening opens. Like, what's the point? <laughs> Why couldn't you just drop the brute down? Well, whatever. This is... Um, I think you can go up here. Can. And this could be breakable. I'm not too sure. Oh. So I 
was quite spot on. How about if I... this. Who knows? Maybe they're down there, actually. They are. Okay. I hear even more of them. Are they generated or something? I don't know. Oh, wow. Struck that barrel pretty hard. Okay, what to use here? I guess I'm pretty full on this, so might as well continue using it. Oh, yes, yes, this, I remember this. This is a pretty weird lift. So, normally, you go here. It's like, oh no, it's a uh, dead end. And then you press this, and it's like, oh look, it's a elevator. Very weird elevator. And of course, there's a scar. Because why wouldn't there be a scar? Seems to work. No, 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 no. Well, that was stupid. And that was that. Yeah. We're actually up to the same place we just were. There's that. This thing doesn't open. Alright, press the button. Fancy. Very fancy. But yeah, you could skip all that, really. Looks like, maybe? Can you? Um, that might have opened something up. Oh yeah, it opens something here. But best not to go right into it. Because there might be monsters in there. There likely are monsters in there. I can't even hear monsters. Hmm. Okay, let's use the flak, I guess. Yep, a whole lot of ambushes. I remember this place, but... Eh, not that bad. And that was a simple warrior. This place has a few different paths you can take. There's one there, and there's another one over there. I don't remember which one is the main path. So how about we first go here? Also save. Let's 
surprised there are no monsters there. Okay, so this leads to that place. There's a zone portal here. <laughs> Quite easy to tell. But yeah, so there is a pathway here, and the other place, I think, has something similar. Yeah, I remember always getting lost as to which place is which. And here we have the bio rifle. Pretty good against pupae, I guess. Otherwise, not so much. Okay, so we advance by going here. Let's try and not fall into the lava. So, no, nothing is here. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Now I remember. Shiny indeed. is quite interestingly made. Going through here is one of the two ways that you can take. I think rushing it is an option. Rushing it seems to be the only option, because there's no way to get in here if you go back. Well, actually, since they did think a bit about co-op gameplay anyway, at least back in the beta days, um, this thing actually goes back up if you go back, and then you can try again. But that might only be in uh, co-op? I don't remember. Yeah, things are blowing up. And I can see... Eight balls. So how about I use 8 balls? Hmm. I don't see any enemies though. There will probably be some. Because there are always monsters. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 that's right. I remember this place too. Should I even... Should I actually start preparing my... Uh... Oh, hi there! However, 
All these eight balls are not for that guy. They are for this other guy. This other guy. This other guy. Yep. That's why there are all these eight balls here. And for that trouble, we get super health and some flak ammo. I'll continue using the 8-ball launcher then. Alright, so next time we will be going somewhere. Yeah, so I will see you all then later.